Good morning, everybody. Welcome to San Antonio Living. I'm Shelly Miles. You can sip on delicious wines and light bites from a neighborhood vineyard right here in San Antonio. Ed Sullivan is the owner of Incontrada, and he is here to tell us a little bit more. It's nice to see you. Thanks uh, for coming in. I'm so excited. Yeah. Fact, I'm so excited. I got a haircut last night. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're looking good, Ed. We're Thanks. excited you're here as well. We've been out there. It's absolutely beautiful. Tell us a little bit about the property and the history and how you guys are doing okay. out there. Well, uh, let me see. I've been there two years, six months, and 24 days. <laughs> Keeping Not track. Not that I'm counting, yeah. but uh, it's been quite the experience. Um, our vision, my wife and I, we really wanted to bring some of the uh, at the effects of different places we've been yeah. uh, in, in Napa and, and Sonoma and Italy. So we have a real um, uh, kind of a Tuscan flair there. It does feel like you're in Napa and we're seeing yeah. some video here. You guys have oh. a kitchen, you're serving up some delicious pizza and other food. Yeah. And it's almost like you're not in San Antonio and you don't have to go far to find in Contrada. It's literally uh, just north of 1604, Bulverde Road, just a couple of miles past Johnson High School. So that's how you know it's in my neighborhood, <laughs> right? Yep. Uh, but it is so beautiful out there, and you guys are producing these amazing wines that are award-winning. Yes. Okay. Yes. So let's talk about the two award winners this morning. We'll start with the bubbly. Okay. Well, this is uh, our Piccolo, Piccolo Bole. Okay. It's our first uh, stab at a sparkling wine. And when we first started producing this or tasting it, before we produced it, we, I was telling everybody, this is going to be... It's gonna a, be the good one. A platinum winner. Okay. And uh, Woo! Cheer, oh, cheers. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. And uh, let's use these. Little so what does a little it day take? drinking. Yep. Why not? Right. <laughs> what does it take to do an award-winning wine? Like what goes into that? Uh, a lot of work. Yeah. Patience. Really, a lot of patience. Uh, and also having the the right uh, barrels. Mm -hmm. Uh, we wanted to make world-class wine. Oh, here you go. Cheers. I'm like, Sorry. wait, hold on. Cheers. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Ooh, that is good. Yes. Nice. That is really good. Well, it's a, it's a, it's a, a, a nice. best of class. It's not as, uh, as dry. Not too sweet. Not yeah. as dry as a, as a champagne. Not as sweet as a Prosecco. More flavorful than yeah. a Prosecco. Really so good. So it makes it really a perfect. Okay. Perfect like drink. That. Okay, let's talk about the red too, because you guys did a little something special with this red wine. Yes, little conjunction, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, you know, wine making isn't an exact science. Right. Some of it has to just be like creative. Uh, and so I was talking to really our winemakers, Bruce Gibbons. Okay. And uh, the Bruce doing some good things out yeah, there. He is. Yes. The, the <laughs> joke is he conveyed with the property. <laughs> and, we'll take him. Yeah. And um, it's always good to open up a wine. Let it breathe a yeah, little bit. Yeah. That's an actual thing, right? Yeah, because people go, what are, what are you talking about, Ed? I go, well, it's like a genie has been locked up in a bottle for you know so long. <laughs> and you, once you open her up, it's, it's, if you open it up, you really get the flavors. Let's give her a try. Oh, gosh. That's also good. Oh, you're really so nice. I know. Well, it is Texas, right? I know we've come a long way when it comes to winemaking. Uh -huh. uh, but if you go back 20 years, it was a little bit different. Okay. So people are making their names for themselves here with Texas wine. This is pretty awesome. And this is specially aged, right? Well, it's been uh, it's an 100% Australian cab. Okay. That we aged 10 months in a Rebecca Creek whiskey barrel. I think that's fantastic. And uh, it was just an idea I had. I go, let's try this, see what happens. Worst case scenario, we lose 50 gallons of juice, but it came out. That would be a bad and, situation. <laughs> right. This this sold out in about three weeks. I can we, see We why. only made 248 bottles, and excuse me, and it just sold out like that. So we can come out, we can enjoy some food, drink some wine. Uh, you guys have your wines available for purchase out there? Yes, oh yes. <laughs> okay, so that's how we get them? Yes, ma'am. Okay, is there like a wine club and there, other there, stuff we, we can have, get involved in? We have in? wine clubs, okay. we have all kind of events. We have, uh, if I could look, I mean, so many events. It's like, hold on, I'm gonna <laughs> tell you what they <laughs> yeah, are. Yeah, so, well, there's so many events. <laughs> you guys it's, do a great job on Facebook too. Lots yeah. of information Inst there. Instagram, Facebook. Yeah. And then you know, if you look at some of the pictures, we are the only vineyard that I'm aware of that lets you sit amongst the vines. Yeah. 
on the wine barrels, eating great food, drinking award-winning wines, and listening to live music mm -hmm. on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. People and just love it. it's right here in San Antonio. You do not need to go far. A little goat yoga on the weekends. There is definitely something for everybody at Incandrada. They are here in San Antonio. Take a look at your screen. Everything you need to know is right there. Check them out online, incontradavineyard.com. And then, of course, they are on social media as well.